Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Ruth and I started this podcast to amplify the voices of women in leadership to talk about what we do beyond the school gate, the good, the bad and the funny. As you can probably tell, it's December. It's actually not. It's November the, what day are we on today? The 24th. However, bear with me. I don't normally put my Christmas tree up in November. It is because I will be traveling a lot in December, um, back and forth, back and forth. So I wanted to enjoy my decorations and you know what, YOLO. So I thought, put it up. And I've just realized she is out of control and needs to whack her all the way back in. Anyway, as you probably can tell by the title of this video, um, there's a lot going on. I think I've probably titled it something like um death compassion and beautiful people or something along those lines i have had a death in my family um you can see my cat <clears throat> sorry there's two of them so they'll be in and out having a little guest appearance um i have had a death in my family it does mean i am going to have to travel back to the uk um on my own which is going to be a bit big um but I do which is really sad it's going to be a good opportunity to see friends and family but also it's really sad somebody in your family passing away it, it's sad and it brings up a whole a whole heap of emotions um but what I did want to jump on here is really to say the, there probably won't be a video in December and I really wanted to do the um looking back um sorry my cat's playing with the blind um, I did want to do the looking back on the year and do like a little bit of a slicing of kind of what happened, um, how well we did last year with the podcast, um, key guests that we had, because I feel like this year we've had like a really good year. Um, I'm just not going to get around to it and I'm going to be kind to myself. So this will be the last video of 2023 and then I'll start back again in 2024. Um, but what I did want to talk about in this video is compassion and beautiful people. Since the death in my family, um, like I, it's a joke within my family that I collect people, I don't collect things, I collect people wherever I go, I have friends pretty much all over the world, and I love connecting with people, that's my favourite thing, one of my favourite things to do in the world, and it's a bit of a joke in my family, but one of the things I've realised is that I'm so blessed and so fortunate to have some really amazing people in my life, um, and there's a few women, I won't name and give people shout outs, but I suppose they fall, there's a handful of women and they fall into a number of categories. One of them is brand new people. One of them I've known since October. So nearly two months. We're at the end of November. So nearly two months. One I've known maybe four, three, four years. And then the other ones I've known 28 years, my best friend since since secondary school, since year eight, whatever. Um, so they kind of fall into three cat. No, the, the, yeah, the middle cat. So brand new, two months. The next one is probably like four years to seven years. And then the next one is um, 25, 26, 27, 28 years plus. Um, and I think that during this time, I've really realized how beautiful and compassionate people are. The person, I'll start on this end of the spectrum where the person I've known for the least amount of time has just shown me so much grace and compassion. And it it's somebody that I've, I've, I've met at work in a new job. And she's such a beautiful human being, has been so generous, so compassionate, so flexible, just like, it's almost like she's just, she's just beautiful that's the only way to explain it just so beautiful and communicates really well um and it's just just amazing and I think that for me things like that really stand out is organizations have their values plastered up on their walls and they talk the talk and they put all these things out on social media and then sometimes you can kind of um get your feet under the table and then you realize it is pretty much just that it's a shiny shop front and then there's some places where you work where you realize wow these people actually live and breathe their values um some of the time that she spent with me over the last few weeks she actually hasn't had to 
there's no need for her to put that amount of time into me and to be that flexible and to just be gorgeous like to me like she actually doesn't have to do that she's a hundred percent gone above and beyond and for me that really stands out and I'm so so grateful um and then the second there's a couple of people um within that kind of three years to seven ish years um again both I worked with one here in um Australia and then one I met in the UK um and then she was trying to get a visa to stay in London and I was trying to get a visa to come to the to Australia my visa was granted her visa was declined I'm living my best life because now my friend's in the same country as me so for me it's win-win for her it's not I'm sorry Brexit did that for you but you know what it gave you and me opportunities to have girl weekends do you know what I mean so that's just been amazing like again I haven't known them for a huge amount of time but I'm finding with both of those people I've been able to be like really vulnerable um and they've just like held me even like one of them took me to this where we've got some of these Christmas decorations and a gorgeous tree I'll pop it on screen we've got um not a tree a, a car with a tree on the top I'll pop a kind of picture up here somewhere um she just said let's go to the Christmas shop because she loves Christmas, I love Christmas, she knows I'm grieving, she knows it's a difficult time, there was no, like, expectation to talk about anything specific, there was no, like, you know, when you have a death in the family, sometimes people are like, how's it going, and it's that kind of, can feel patronising, none of these people have been like that, they've all been their own beautiful selves, um, and this person, yeah, took me to the Christmas shop, um, and we spent like pretty much a whole day together and it was just lovely she loves Christmas as much as I love Christmas she's literally like you know those people that are just good people like they're your people like they're your soul sister that type of people both of those two people for me are are that and I call them relatively new friends because I have four best friends two boys two girls and the two girls I've known for 20 I say about 28 years we've been best friends one of the boys I've known for like 30 32 years um, and then the other boy maybe six 15 years or 16 years um so they're the ones that I kind of they're like the OGs they're like my brothers and sisters they're kind of not even my friends they're family at this point um and again so much flexibility I am going to the UK I'm going on my own and the compassion that they've shown me and the just welcoming me into their home what can I do for you helping me understand the legalities I've got a friend who um is a lawyer and um, studied law and she's just been helping me under just understand the legalities of stuff and I just think it's so special to have people like that in your life they can have been in your life like this woman has for eight weeks <laughs> or they can be in your life like my longest friend has for like 30 two years or whatever it is and I just feel like people come into your life for a reason and I feel like each of those people have taught me something and shown me something different about myself um some are like more on the like really compassionate side and more kind of therapeutic somebody's like let's go out and do this thing because that's what you like and it makes you happy and it also makes me happy and it's a good opportunity to connect. Some people are like, what do you need from me? Tell me what you need and we can make that happen. So I feel like I've been held by a lot of people over the last um, month, I think it's probably been. Um, and I'm specifically focusing on females because... The podcast is all about women in leadership and amplifying the voices of women. So I'm intentionally talking about those women that have been there for me over the last four weeks. But obviously, it goes without saying, Ahmed is above and beyond everything. Like, again, the love and the compassion and the support that he's given me throughout this whole time. He's just got this really unique way of like knowing what I need almost before I need it. Um, so he has this great way of giving me giving me enough one-on-one -on -one time giving me enough family time but then also giving me that like, time on my own um and he kind of just knows it's like intuitive if that makes sense um that's what does happen when you've kind of had somebody in your life for 28 sterling see my cat's getting carried away for 27 28 years they kind of know you and it becomes intuitive 
Um, so that that goes without saying. So I do want to kind of um, put a disclaimer in that I'm focusing on the women because of the topics in that the podcast covers. If that makes sense, not to exclude the exclude the men and boys of in my life and that have been really helping me. So yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a story time. It is a um, bit of a different one for what I know. Look, at it. look, Sterling, get down. I don't know who he thinks he is. I'm gonna sell him. Get down or I'll sell you. Pat's out of control. Yes, there we go. Look, he argues back. People say cats don't understand. They do, he's telling me off. No, he's in his cat tree behind the Christmas tree. Oh, cats, where was I? Oh, I was saying this is a little bit of a different video, but that's okay. It's the last one of the year, so it's okay for it to be a little bit different. And I think it's provided a little bit of context as to kind of where I've been as well over the last month. I've had a few messages on Instagram where people are like, hey, how are you going? Um, do you like my accent? How's it going? Um, and this, yeah, how's it going? How are you? How are you traveling? What's going on? Um, you've been quiet. That's that's pretty much why I've been trying to just process kind of the grief and all the feelings and everything that goes along with that. So um the pod no the pod I am not stopping the podcast I've had a couple of people ask if I'm stopping the podcast I have no plans as of now to stop the podcast I'm actually looking for some guests for 2024 I've got two people lined up um but with this recent death I am going to push them to 2024 so that'll probably be my January and February episode um and then yeah I'll be looking for people so if you're interested this cat is about to jump on the laptop Sterling you're wild um if yeah if you're interested in being in a podcast slide in my dms if you know somebody that's interested in being in my podcast slide in my dms or tag me or tag them you know what all the cool kids out here do and do all of the all of the things i really want to get a mixed um bag of guests for next year so a real different um group of people what i haven't had on the podcast is um a sports person so i'd love to have like a sports personality i'd love to have maybe an activist I would I've had a CEO that was one of the things I wanted I've had a CEO um and I think one of my first one of my guests from this year is fast track to be a CEO so I'm going to put it out to the universe and if she's watching she knows what's up 2024 I'm going to have my second CEO on the podcast actually no there's two two of my friends two of my good 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 homies are on fast track to be ceos um so i'm gonna have two ceos on my podcast in 2024 one of their names begins with a k and one begins with a c and they've both been on my podcast already so there's a little bit of a teaser so if you haven't go back through the podcast um and see who's been on and then comment in the section in the comment section down below who do you think it's going to be who do you think are those two people that are fast track to be ceos let's give them a yellow heart and let's send all the positive vibes out into the universe to help them get their dream jobs both of them are truly inspirational they work their backsides off and they do some outstanding work that really makes a difference in our community so um comment down below and drop them a yellow heart positive vibes to the universe and i shall see you guys in 2024 bye